This is the third video presentation for the Case Animal course. As you view this video, make notes of important information. Pause, repeat, and resume the video whenever necessary. Scientific Classification and Taxonomy Lesson 2.2 Naming Animals You've just completed Activity 2 2.1 Tasty Taxonomy, where you classified objects based on their physical characteristics and applied a hierarchical organizational system to a food group. Animals are classified several different ways, such as binomial nomenclature, purpose, and characteristics of anatomy and physiology. As plants, animals, and microscopic organisms were discovered throughout history, a systematic method of organizing into groups with similar characteristics and attributes became necessary. Early on, Aristotle began classifying living things as plants or animals. Advancements in science and the continued discovery of new organisms led to a need for a more organized system of classification. Carl Linnaeus devised a system of hierarchical categories with seven levels of organization based on the form and structure of organisms. He became known as the father of modern taxonomy. The hierarchical system used in classification is based on similarities of organisms. The seven levels of classification include kingdom, phylum or division, class, order, family, genus, and species. One mnemonic device you can use to help you remember the order is King Philip came over from Great Spain. Within each level of organization, there are characteristics that divide organisms into smaller and more specific categories until each organism is identifiable as an individual species. Kingdom is the broadest categorization. Kingdoms are determined for organisms by answering two questions. Is the organism single-celled or multi-celled? And does the organism absorb, ingest, or produce food? In addition to plants and animals, other kingdoms make a distinction amongst microscopic and single-celled organisms. Some scientific groups define six kingdoms where Monera is divided into Archaebacteria and Eubacteria. Characteristics of organisms in the animal kingdom include multicellular organisms with specialized tissues. Nearly all animals ingest their food and reproduce sexually. The final characteristic is the ability to move. At the phylum level, animals are grouped together based on similarities in basic body plan or organization. For example, organisms in the phylum Arthropoda have external skeletons and joined bodies and limbs. Insects, spiders, lobsters, and crabs are arthropods. The phylum in which domestic animals and humans are classified is Chordata. This phylum is characterized by the development of a notochord. In vertebrates, the notochord develops into the backbone. Vertebrates are a subphylum of Chordata. Vertebrates are categorized by the presence of a backbone and endoskeleton, a closed circulatory system with a pumping heart, and direct development of their young. The vertebrate subphylum is further broken into classes. Characteristics used to identify classes include the type of body covering, reproductive system, and temperature regulation system. Order and family levels of organization group animals into more closely related categories. 
The family name of animals contains the stem word of the genus with the ending in ede. For example, humans, homo sapiens, are in the homo deide family. Plant families are easily identified by the ending aseye. Organisms that have many common characteristics are identified in a single genus. For example, the donkey and the horse are both members of the genus Equus. Species is the lowest level of classification and indicates a grouping of very closely related animals that may interbreed. One exception is the horse and donkey, which are different species, but can interbreed to produce a mule. Many animals have differing common names in areas of the world and even within a country. The binomial name is the generic and the species name of the animal. Classification of animals from the broadest category of kingdom to the most basic unit of the taxonomic rank, which is the species. By narrowing the taxonomical structures and assigning a basic genus and species, in this example, Canis lupus, the gray wolf occupies a place in the system that cannot be occupied by any other living animal. Other animals are classified into the same kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, and genus, but not species. As a review, mark or highlight three key points in your notes that are important to remember from this presentation. List two ideas or concepts that relate to previous knowledge. List any questions you have about this topic. Discuss these questions with your instructor. Keep any notes you have from this presentation organized and available for use throughout the course. Through activity 2.2.2, Creature Classification, you will determine the classification of the animal you are studying in your producer's management guide. This will help you understand how all living organisms are classified using kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. Your instructor will share resources for classifying your animals.